What's up guys, Brian here with BPS Customs and it is time for episode three of Show Me Your Rig. Now, by now you guys probably know the deal. This is not a contest, there is no prize. This is for the community. This is to show off the hard work and dedication of custom builders like you guys and for other people to maybe get some ideas about how they want to do their system or just to appreciate the work of others. Now, if you guys want to be a part of Show Me Your Rig, you can submit photos, information about yourself, anything you might want to share to this email address right here, and maybe you'll get a shot on the next episode. But let's get into the first person that's going to be featured, and that is Melvin. All right, so I'm gonna read you guys a little bit of what Melvin wrote, get into a little bit of his backstory and what he uses the computer for, and then we're gonna take a look at it. So, Melvin Sabala. Greetings, my name is Melvin, and I am based in Milan, Italy. I built my rig mainly for the purpose of editing photos and some video. I am a photographer and a PC enthusiast as well. I am a 90-10 person, and most of the time I am editing photos, so 90% of the use is production, photo and video editing. I am an avid fan of FPS games, and I love gaming when I'm not doing anything. I think we all do, Melvin. 2011 is when I built my first PC. It was okay, and I'm very much contented with it. Then last January, I decided to have a go and needed to build my first custom water cooling loop. So basically what Melvin did was he put together a really nice PC with an AIO cooler and just the stock GPU heatsink and fan combos. And then he decided he wanted to get a little more involved, get into the custom water cooling scene. And we're gonna take a look at what he came up with. So this is Melvin's case. Uh, this is a Mastercase Pro 5. Uh, now you can see that he did some custom carbon fiber wrap. Now uh, I think these are probably like vinyl decals, vinyl adhesive stickers, something like that. Um, but he did a really clean job. You don't see any cuts or, or folds or, or anything like that. Um, there's no edges that are flapping around. This is this looks like it's very well done. Um, and then it, it actually gives the case like a completely different look. Like it's not that much different from just having a black case, but it really transforms how this how this case looks. So this is a really good job by Melvin. Uh, this is what his system looked like initially. Uh, this is a 6700K. This is uh, sitting in a Maximus 8 Ranger motherboard by Asus. There's 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance uh, DDR4. I think this is uh, 2400 speed. And then there are two EVGA GTX 980s. Um, this is a fine system, and this is something that I might even consider featuring on the channel in this uh, in this segment. This looks really good, very clean. Could use some custom extensions, but the color, everything is matched, uh, and uh, this looks this looks great. I'm sure it's a really good performing system for you. But he wanted a little bit more. He wanted to get into the custom water cooling, so this is what we ended up with. Now you can see that he did extend the custom uh, carbon fiber wrap. Uh, and put it on, uh, I think this is an acrylic panel down here, uh, and he cut out some neat little lines, and I think there's lighting back here, so when the when the system is on and the lighting is shining through here, um, you can see it uh, through, uh, through these cutouts. But you can see he also did the custom carbon fiber wraps on the heat sinks. Now, I, I will say the chipset heat sink doesn't get all that hot, but the the VRM heat sinks get, they get a little, little toasty. I would be hesitant to wrap these heat sinks in vinyl, although I, I imagine he's had this system running for quite some time without any issues. So I'm not gonna say that you're necessarily doing something wrong if it's working for you, but this wouldn't be my first choice. Uh, I'd rather uh, paint it with some engine enamel or something along those lines, because if you have it wrapped in this uh, like vinyl sheet, it could potentially be holding heat in, or if it gets hot enough, this stuff can melt. So just be careful when you're doing something like this. It looks awesome, and it really um, completes your system appearance, but just use a little bit of caution, I suppose. Um, you can see that the custom uh, custom wrapping is, is extended onto the, um, the radiators here. And he, I think this is a UV light, he didn't specify, but it looks like a UV light. And the coolant is, um, I, I think it's like a, a light purple or a light blue, but it looks awesome. And these, um, these water, uh, water cool heat killer blocks are actually what I'm gonna be using in my next project. 
um, hopefully soon. But the contrast between the terminals and the nickel fittings and the painted black EVGA SLI bridge really stands, really makes everything stand out. It was really well done, uh, really nice system. And actually, here everything looks. This looks like it's clear fluid. Here it looks blue. Maybe this is just clear fluid with a UV reactant, with a UV additive to make it uh, to make it color a little bit. But I think the word I think this is clear coolant, uh, or just distilled water with an additive. It looks good. Looks good, Melvin. Good choice. Um, but one thing that I did want to mention uh, is this fan cable that runs down here, and I I think this is I think this motherboard has like a thermal probe attachment here um, as well, like a thermal header. I I would much prefer you to use like one of these open fan headers up here. You could easily route this back behind the tray and then out to these, as opposed to running all the way down to this fan header. Also, what I prefer to do in my systems is I never use fan headers that are in the middle of the board. I always use them that are on the perimeter. And if even if I run out of them, what I'll do is I'll put an extension or a splitter on this and then I'll run it back behind the tray and then connect the fans that way just so that I don't have this kind of dangly cable coming down across the motherboard because everything else in the system looks so neat. Like even with the stock cables, everything looks great. I mean, everything is routed correctly. You don't see any anything hiding. I mean, you know, this is this front panel audio cable. These all look like this, and I hate it. I wish that I wish some company would do something and fix this. But I mean, other than that, everything looks fantastic in here. And then you got this little cable coming down here, which is kind of I don't know, looks a little sloppy. Uh, I know that you had mentioned that you like using these cables because they uh, they help support your graphics cards actually because they're so stiff uh, it keeps them up but i found that with water blocks um, custom blocks on gpus that they don't sag nearly as much as they do with like the heavy stock heatsink and fan combo so you may want to swap these out for some kind of uv reactant um, cables or something along those lines but honestly like it, it even with these cables this still looks great um, so I think you did a really fantastic job with this build and you know although we're talking about you know GPUs that are now a generation behind having two of them in the system is gonna give you some really decent performance so let's give this system some scores uh, for performance I'm kind of torn between like a 3.5 and a 4 um, and because you put so much work into this, we're gonna give you a four. Uh, but you know, the two 980s, they're equivalent to like 1060s. So if you could SLI two 1060s, how would they perform? That's kind of hard to say, I don't really know. But you know, this is certainly something that's surpassed by some of the newer hardware, but still a really good system and something that I'm sure for photo and video editing does a really good job for you. Uh, for continuity, this is a 4.5. Everything in here is uh, the same caliber, basically and it doesn't really look like you skimped on anything you have you know the um these corsair fans are like 30 bucks a piece so you really did go all out and um three point uh four point five on continuity uh for originality also at four point five uh, i like the direction that you're taking this i would like to see uh some more i would like to see some custom cables in there and i'd like to see you do something about this but other than that um, you know, with the carbon fiber wraps and this custom acrylic piece down here for originality, you get a 4.5. And then for appearance, you also get a 4.5. Same kind of things, this cable here, maybe some extensions um, to clean it up just a little bit. Um, but man, you are like so close to a five. This is one of the better systems that I've seen come through my inbox for this series. So really good job, Melvin. Thank you so much for sending it in all the way from Italy. And we're gonna move on to system number two. All right, so system number two is from Hans in Sweden. His last name is Müller, I believe. It's hard to pronounce for an American, I guess, and I know that I'm probably butchering it. Uh, but thank you, Hans. He's 15 years old. He sends his system in from Sweden. He says, I use my rig for watching YouTube, playing some games, and schoolwork. My specs are not good at all, but we'll see. 
uh, but it's what I've got and I'm waiting for the Ryzen 5 release close to me. So I think, by, he sent this in to me maybe about a month ago, so I think by now uh, Ryzen 5 is probably launched in Europe, although I, I guess I'm not 100% sure, so maybe he's actually got a whole new system by now. But we're gonna take a look at what he has done previously. And he again, he's only 15, so I mean, you can't just go out and buy a whole bunch of new parts every you know every year, every time something new comes out, and when you're that old, I mean, um, I'm sure that uh, that he works hard for, for what he's got. So, as far as specs go, this is an AMD Phenom 2 X4 965 Black Edition, a Corsair H60 cooler, uh, 8 gigs of HyperX Fury DDR3, a Gigabyte GA970 motherboard, uh, custom painted Club 3D 7970, we'll see that in a second, um, an SSD from Crucial, a hard drive from Hitachi, uh, and it's built in a Corsair Spec Alpha case. And he's custom painted the GPU, PCI covers, and thumb screws, and he made a custom backplate. So here is the system. Uh, this, I think, his ca the white balance in his camera is way off because everything in this uh, in these series of photos looks orange to me. And Corsair doesn't make an orange spec alpha, and he said this was a red one anyway. So I think just. Pretend that everything that was orange, that's orange in these photos is white, uh, I mean it is red, uh, because that's I guess what the way it looks in real life. But I honestly kind of wish that this was orange. I think orange would look really cool. But this is his system. Uh, you can see that he has custom painted his GPU and he has fabricated his own GPU backplate. Uh, he did a really good job, put his initials on there. Uh, but I think that just the way that this is sitting, uh, it's not, uh, it, I guess he put it up on little little rubber risers, maybe. I think it actually would look a lot better if it was sitting flush against the PCB. Uh, but maybe he doesn't want to put it against the solder points or something along those lines. If it's acrylic, it's non-conductive, it should be fine if you want to do that. Uh, because the, the way it's sitting right now is not really very even. It's kind of a little wonky over here. Uh, but it's it's a really nice touch in this system, especially for a budget system. You know, you're, you, you're working with what you have. Um, speaking of working with what you have, looks like he has put some electrical tape on the GPU cables uh, and on the CPU cable, which I think we could see a better angle over, over here. The EPS cable he's left alone and it actually runs out of this opening and then all the way across here and he has not uh, wrapped this in electrical tape and it does stand out a little bit because it's, obviously it's yellow. So I don't, I've never worked with the Spec Alpha case, but I just reviewed the Spec 04, and I know the Spec 04 has openings up here for uh, routing the EPS cable, so might want to look into doing that as opposed to routing out this hole, route it out this hole, so that you only see a little bit of the yellow as opposed to this long streak of yellow. Um, also, I, I, it's hard for me to fault people when their GPU is sagging because this is just the way the, the cards are from the manufacturer, especially like lower end cards. But at the same time, you know, if that's something you could work on. Um, MNPC Tech sells braces. I think there are a couple other companies that are, that are working on uh, solutions like that. I know Cooler Master sells them for their cases. Obviously you couldn't put it in this case, but there are ways to straighten this out. Uh, although with a 7970, maybe it's just not something that you're worried about. But I like the fact that he has done this custom work over here. He's painted all the screws. He's painted all the expansion bay covers. Um, it, it looks like he's really trying to work with what he's got. And, you know, he's got, um, I think all the fans are color matched, even though they are not all the same fan, uh, which ends up being fine. You know, you have the SP120 up here with the ring. Uh, looks like an H. D120, or maybe this is a, a, the newer SP120, and then you have the Corsair fans that come with the Spec Alpha here, and he's put a, um, a dust filter on it. But you know, with a case like this, it's a budget case, you have certain restrictions. Uh, it looks like, for the most part, the cables are routed correctly. Um, this, this gets a little sloppy down here, it looks like, but because there's no shroud, you have to find somewhere to put the cables. I would try to tuck maybe a little bit more up behind the tray, just so you don't see these kind of snaking out down here. And, uh, you know, like we talked about before, maybe fix the EPS cable. But, I mean, overall, for a budget system, I, I, I mean, like I said, this is, a, this is somebody who is 15 years old, he's probably building his own system. It's probably perfectly sufficient for what he's doing right now. And uh, it's, it still looks good. 
it looks it looks good like he looks like he's put some time and effort into here he's done some custom work he's not just throwing everything into the case and and crossing his fingers uh, one thing i would definitely recommend is if you're going to keep this system if you haven't upgraded to ryzen 5 by now see maybe if you in you know instead of spending money on like custom sleep cables which is something that i obviously gets recommended a lot maybe save that money and buy another stick of uh memory that would go a long way to improving the performance of your uh, of your system overall so let's go ahead and give this system some scores uh for performance obviously we're dealing with um hardware that's a couple generations old at this point um, I'm sure it still works fine for you, but we're going to go ahead and give it a 2.5 for performance. Um, continuity though, everything in here looks like it goes together pretty well. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't say anything stands out as being too, uh, too new or, you know, bottlenecked by something else in your system. I think this is probably a four for continuity. Uh, for originality, you did put a lot of effort into the custom work here, although, you know, I don't know how custom we want to call this um, <laughs> this tape wrapped cable, uh, but still, it is custom work. You did put some time into it. Uh, so for originality, I'm going to give you a 3.5. Uh, and for appearance, I'm also going to give you a 3.5. Uh, I think that um, for, for a budget case, obviously with some restrictions, this still is a good looking system and it'll still look decent on your desk. So thank you very much, Hans, for sending this in. Um, hope that you have your Ryzen 5 system all up and together, and if you do, send it in. I'd like to take a look at it. Uh, we do have one honorable mention, and that is Jethro. And the reason we have him as an honorable mention is because I wanted to show you guys this setup. This looks absurd. I don't know what he's doing in here. It looks like this is a racing sim, and he's got a mic over here, so maybe he's doing some Twitch streaming or something along those lines. But he's got speakers all over the place. He's got a crazy amount of acoustic foam. Um, his his rig itself looks badass. Uh, he's got this uh, custom fab front panel from from MPC Tech, I believe, and he's got Batman chilling up on top. So this thing looks awesome. Uh, this must have taken so much time to put together, and I'm sure I'm sure you have like a you know be, because of the way you have the monitor set up and you have the racing sim set up here. I'm sure you're doing some surround gaming, some surround driving, um, and I'm sure you have a blast doing it. So. Thank you so much, Jethro, for sending in your system uh, and your rig. Sorry I didn't have time to feature it, but uh, this looks great, and I'm sure it performs really well for you. So that's it. That is episode three of Show Me Your Rig. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you want to send in your system for consideration, do so at this link right here, or this email address right here, or whatever it ends up being that I'm pointing to down here. Um, the more information and the better photos that you send in, the better chance that you have of being featured on the channel. So send in, send in what you got, and uh, I look forward to getting your emails. Thanks for watching, everybody, as always, and I will see you next time.